What's up guys, it's Parzival here and I'm continuing my Let's Play on Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Last time we left off, we, uh, took on the Cavern of Remembrance, and I know that I said that I was going to do the Mushroom 13, but I came across a really weird realization. Um, I'm here on the final screen, because, or on the main screen, because I want to show you guys that, uh, I actually learned that in order to get some of the things in this game, to get a... I guess a supposed 100% run, you actually have to beat the game first, and that's actually what I did. Um, if you look at my uh, save screen, it has a little crown next to it. That means that I beat the game, and um, I'm still going to show that stuff off, but in order to unlock some of the special features of this game, you have to beat the game first. So I went ahead and beat it off camera, and then... Uh, now I'm back. We're going to continue on with our quest. Uh, I got like halfway through the Mushroom 13, but there was one that would not show up. And uh, I read that you have to beat the game in order for it to happen. Every entry in Jimny's journal has been unlocked. Continue the adventure to define the question marked entries. And a new enemy has materialized and awaits Sora in one of the worlds. Okay, so that's going to give us a nice little secret boss that we're not going to take care of just yet. That's going to be like the very last thing that we do before we move on to beating the game. Um, and I believe that that's going to be in Disney Castle, uh, if I, if memory serves. Yeah, yep, it's going to be in Disney Castle. Okay, so what we're actually going to do in this episode, which we're, I'm actually going to save the Mushroom 13 for the next episode, but in this episode, we're actually going to make our way to Olympus Coliseum. Because we still have one more uh, cup that we need to finish, and in this episode we are going to craft the Ultima weapon and give weapon upgrades to Donald and Goofy. Um, we have all the materials that we need for it, we just need one more thing. And uh, I'm going to see if I can turn my audio up just a little bit. Okay, let's see how that does. Um, okay, so what we are going to do is I'm actually going to switch Goofy with Donald. And we are going to come over to this little guy. And we are going to see the Goddess of Fate Cup. Fight alongside your friends. There are no special rules for this tournament. No experiences gained. Tournament level 55. We're a little over leveled. But let's just go ahead and do it. And depending on how this goes, maybe this will be a short episode. I'm not sure how many levels to this. I, I honestly can't remember off the top of my head how many we need to uh how many we need to beat in order to get to the last level. Um it's a free for all, there are no rules, so anything goes each battle will have different objectives and surprises. Get a higher score by collecting orbs. Use combos for more orbs. Okay, so it sounds easy enough. So it it definitely looks like there are stronger enemies in here, but I am also way too strong, so it's not going to matter. Um, because I I feel like ridiculously OP. Um, and I I'm not entirely worried about this. There's no, it doesn't look like there's any time limit. Um, yeah, this is supposed to be the the most difficult one, and you get a really good item at, after it for beating it. But like I said, I have no idea what your how many levels to this there actually is ah oh, dang you all right so these guys are from the uh from the pride lands and from the timeless river oh i can't use orin in here i thought that i could never mind okay so hopefully donald will take care of the healing so that i can just keep on spamming spells um i'm not going to use a uh I'm not going to use Magnet in this one because there's no point because of these little flower guys. Wow, th this is going really quickly. I feel like I'm way too overpowered for this. Now, once you beat these, there are actually uh, there's actually a second set of cups that you can do. If you go down to, I think it's in in Hades, uh, in Hades Lair or something. You can go go there and there are these things called Paradox Cups, which are basically the same. Uh, they're the same cups except they're a lot more difficult so maybe we'll try those out I uh, maybe I'll do like a quick speed up video with it or something like that um it's I'm not entirely sure if you get anything of value for doing them but they might be worth doing just 
for journal entries or or whatever but uh yeah i mean there's there's really no harm in at least trying i guess uh so which which round are we in right now i can't quite remember man we are flying through this i wonder if there's going to be any like actual people enemies in this like final fantasy guys defeat the enemies before time runs out okay so i guess i will just spam thunder and everything is fine I think everyone could use a little heal here. I'll use it with my last remaining MP so I can get this charge going. These guys are nothing. They're totally nothing. Um, uh, I could have Lance tugged him and that would have done a lot of damage. Possibly would have been able to get that Samurai Rider too. Uh, hey, stop it. I almost ran out of points there and I didn't even notice. It's weird because every single round has a completely different gimmick to it party must survive till the time runs out can do even though it is just me but that's okay there's really not much i can do it's just 30 seconds so who cares do i have berserk charge on i think i do i really need to turn that off i think i can't remember if i did that oh yeah i forgot i was trying to do some mushroom 13 there are some mushroom 13 that you actually would want to use berserk charge i'm gonna have to take that off before the end of this um or i'm gonna have to start using some elixirs because i don't want to be caught in another hercules situation fight in, in the dark and defeat all the enemies okay can do um these i hate the cars i hate them so much all right so now we just have the cars see if we can take them out nice and quickly Oh, come on. There we go. Okay. Where are you at? Where are you at, you stupid car? Oh, it's not a car. Okay, cool. I really don't like the cars. <laughs> they gave me so many fits in the Timeless River. I really dislike the cars. Oh, so we got Hades. Oh, it's the final match. Don't bother with the enemies. Go straight for Hades. Okay. Can do. I don't want to feel the heat. You feel the heat. Ah, damn it. I didn't want to do that. Um... Oh well, I guess a Berserk Charge on Hades. There's worse things. Stop it. There we go. Let's get a Berserk Charge on him. Let's go. Ah, oh, jeez. He's being a real douchebag right now. Alright, I'm trying to focus because I don't want to die in this. Because Hades is actually kind of easy right now. There we go. I think we got him fine. We'll keep him in this until the MP comes back. And then we'll get ourselves a nice little finisher right now. Oh, okay. There we go. Or a thunder finisher, which is actually my personal favorite. And now we get the ugly ass goddess of fate cup. I mean, look at that. It is so freaking ugly. We did it! And that does it for all four cups. We got all of them. So we get the Fatal Crest Keyblade, which increases strength by two during MP charge and enables combos to continue end endlessly. So basically, this gives you the Berserk Charge. And we get an Ore Chalcum Plus, an extremely rare ore and ingredient for item synthesis. This is what we were actually trying to unlock here because we only needed one more Ore Chalcum Plus. And we got the True Hero trophy, so that's cool. Um, we needed that last Ore Chalcum Plus so that we could synthesize the Ultima Weapon. So, let's go to Synthesize. Let's drop off all the synthesis materials. Let's go to Recipes. Click, and there's our Ultima Weapon. Now, if you notice that the Ore Chalcum Plus says that you need 13 of them, but we only have 7, but we can still make this. That's because if you use an energy crystal then it actually lessens the amount now we have the perfect amount for it so i'm gonna do that i'm gonna increase the moogle level because why not I'm gonna go ahead and synthesize that and we get the ultimate weapon the keyblade above all others increases mp restoration rate by 75 percent once all mp has been consumed really 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 definitely the best keyblade and am i supposed to get a trophy for that i feel like i'm supposed to and it also just looks gorgeous okay and also 
what we're going to do is we're going to go to creations and we're going to come to the save the queen and if you give it a serenity crystal it'll synthesize the item of a higher rank which means that's going to make the save the queen plus and so I'm going to use that and uh, we'll cut it, the necessary materials in half and synthesize. A powerful staff with colossal magic and strength restores MP relative to the amount of damage taken. So that's actually a higher... Uh, I don't think that we can do it again. Can we? I don't know. But we're going to go to save the king and we're going to do the exact same thing. Uh, we're going to cut the necessary materials in half. And we got the Save the King Plus, which is a powerful shield that with great strength and defense. Halves damage taken in critical situations, so it's pretty good. And they look totally different. I kind of want to see, just really quickly, if this actually works. No, it's the exact same thing. So now we have two Save the King Pluses. No big deal. Um, you know what, let's just do it with the, uh, with the Save the Queen Plus too, why not? No, I'm, I'm kidding, I, I don't, we're not going to do that. Um... Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and equip those to everyone. Donald gets the Save the Queen Plus. Uh, which, the difference in it... I'm not entirely sure what the difference is. The difference, uh... Quickly revives Wielder when fallen and restores much of their HP. Doesn't really matter to me. Let's just use the Save the Queen Plus. It also looks kind of cooler. Um, Goofy is going to get the Save the King Plus. Now the Save the King increases the effect of restoration items used in the field. We don't really use those all that often. So having damage in critical situations would be much better. And uh, finally, for Sora, we are going to equip, boom, the Ultima Weapon. And for the final form, I'm going to put the Fenrir on there because it's awesome. All right, so let's take a look at our new Faded Blade. Boom! Look at that thing! Oh man, it is gorgeous. Now, in the last Let's Play that I did for Kingdom Hearts 1, I actually did a synthesis guide for the Ultima Weapon. I don't think that I'm going to do that in this one. Um, I there, The way that you obtain these items is so much different in this that is based off of leveling up your Moogle and stuff like that, that it's not like the first game where you actually have to uh collect you have to synthesize every item on the list before you can do the ultima weapon uh it's totally different you don't need to do all that so i don't think that i'm going to do it if i will if i am going to do it then i'll just do the items that you need to get the ultima weapon and donald and goofy's ultimate weapons but that'll probably come after the let's play um all right so we got a little bit of time really quickly to just finish things off a little bit is I have all these uh, I have all these puzzle pieces and I want to put them all together because I gotta do the frontier and the daylight and the sunset so I don't think I'm gonna do all these on screen I'll just kind of come back when I'm when I have them all finished so I'll be back in just one second just so that you guys can see the items that you get for it so I'll be right back Alright guys, I am back. So with the Frontier one, we actually, all we need to do is go over to Goofy's head, rotate it once, and then boom, we get ourselves a Manifest Illusion, which is a synthesis material. And if we go to the Daylight one, all we have to do is swap these two pieces, I think. Wait, did I mess something up? I thought that was it. Is something messed up here? I can't tell. Um, one second, I need to get a closer look at this. There we go, it was hiding on me. We got an executive's ring. Immensely increases your maximum AP. Kind of cool, but don't really need it. And in the sunset one, all we need to do is come over to Riku's body and rotate this once. And 
we get ourselves a Grand Ribbon. Highly increases all resistances and extremely increases defense. I might actually equip that. Now, that actually does it for every single one of the puzzles. So we got every single puzzle piece and we also finished all the puzzles. So, we should have a nice little, uh, yep, we have a nice little Mickey Mouse here. All we have left is, uh, missions, mini games, and character links, huh? Oh, we got the Puzzler Trophy. Cool. Okay, so, in the next episode, we are going to take on the Mushroom 13. So if you enjoyed this episode, go ahead and slap that like button. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy, my friends.